few days. Hey guys, how are you? Happy Wednesday. Welcome, welcome, come on in. Come on. Oh, it's just three minutes. Say hey when you jump on. We are gonna, I'm gonna show you something that I've been working on before we do our project. Come on in. Hi, Sue. How have you been? I haven't seen you forever. Welcome. Hi, Susan. Good afternoon. I know, like some of you are on your lunch hour. That's your job. Hi, Deb. How are you? Hello, Gwen. You guys make me smile. Welcome. Come on in. Guys, it is the beginning of the month, so we have things to talk about, but we will probably save a bunch of that for tomorrow's chat. If you are not um, in my VIP group and would like to join us for Patty Chat on Thursdays, hi Sissy, um, just put chat or VIP in the comments and I will send you a link to the lounge. Hi everybody, welcome. Hi Sherry B, how are you? Hello Lori. Hey Carol. Ah, you are so welcome. I need to start seeing all your projects, all of them. All right guys, I'm gonna show you something that um, has taken me a couple days to work on only because I took time in between layering um, the shoulder and I, want, I started doing, you'll see what I mean, I started doing one project and it turned into three. Ah, I'm glad you did Mary. Alright, before we do today's project I want to show you something. So who had, or who likes hiring cows? You know, it's funny, and I think it really depends on where you live, if you're a highland cow kind of person. Um, you know, there is a gray area. I was going to say there's no gray area, but I don't think anybody dislikes highland cows. I just think it's prevalent in more areas than others. But we do have a Highland Cow Transfer that we just recently came out with, and I want to show you what I did, okay? So, I did three projects, and I'm actually going to post a cart link for the, the Highland Cow Project. I have photos, and I already have a video made. I'll probably post it tomorrow. Um, but let me show you what I did, just kind of like a sneak peek, okay? Really, technically, it's not a sneak peek because I'm showing you, okay? All right, so let me show you. This is my fall. Oops, I knew that was going to happen because I want to show you what I did. All right, I'm probably going to have to get my glue gun before we stop. And this is why I was kind of ready to show everybody, but let me show you. All right. So, I'm going to show you why it is three layers. Let me put one more magnet on it. So, I'm going to show you how I did the frame, and then I'm going to show you how I got three projects out of it, okay? I'm hoping this isn't going to go down. All right, so this was the fall project. Hi. Look at that. All right, this is, what I mean. this is what I kind of wasn't ready to show you all. But let me, I'm going to glue this and then we'll be all set. All right, so what I did is I did our frame first, okay? So this is technically tomorrow project, okay? So I did the frame, and because this is a plaid, and you really, it's one of those projects 
where you can use all year for all kinds of projects, okay? But I didn't want to have to keep doing or redoing the, sorry guys, I didn't want to have to keep redoing the board, okay? So, let me pull this up. I can't get it up. So, I just did the background, all right? So this was the fall one. And then what you're able to do is you're going to be able to take this off. You're going to be able to take the cow off. Isn't she so cute? Hi, Cindy. All right, you're going to be able to take the cow off. And then, and this is all going to be shown in the video how I did this, okay? Then what you're going to do is, let me take this off so you can see it. This was the boy. Okay? Alright, so that's the board. Then what I did was I decided I wanted to... Let's see if I can get some glue on here while we're live. What I wanted to do was be able to use this same pattern and the same Highland Cow transfer for Thanksgiving, okay? So, using the back drop, and I hot glued these magnets on to some painter's tape so it doesn't ruin the frame, okay? So then what I did was, I did another Highland Cow, snap that on with magnets, Another topper using one of our Thanksgiving stencils. Hi, Kelly. Okay, so I'm going to put this down like this. This is probably going to bounce around too. Mm -hmm. And then you have your Thanksgiving one. Show you. But um, these magnets, we have 
We actually have the magnets, so you can get them right on my, on my website. You probably have magnets all over the place. But these are the magnets that I'll end up using. I just gotta glue them on better. Um, and to get this little wreath, we actually have, and I sell these, these little magnet wreaths. And those are right in my shop, too. So I just kind of wanted to give you a sneak peek at that. I will go ahead and finish it and get all those photos and the video posted. Um, I was finishing that up right before I went live. Um, but how cool is that? What do you guys think? Jerry, how are you? I haven't seen you in forever. So what do you think? Do you like it? If you're interested in seeing the video, just in the comments, write Highland Cow, and I'll, I'll make sure I get you the video. Um, there will be a cart link. There's a lot going on in the cart link. Um, now, these cutouts are something that I did and that I'm going to offer to my VIPs for free. Um, one, two, or three of them, totally up to you. But... You can do them in any color. Guys, you can chain, you can do your little ribbons any color. You don't have to do ribbons. You can add florals. You do you. But I thought I'd show you, okay? All right, let's start today's project. And what I wanted to tell you about today's project, it is part of our Club Couture, our monthly Club Couture. It's our um, exclusive transfer. We have come up with a new club program, okay? So if you are in the States, it's $21.99 a month, and you get a B-size transfer, which is your 8.5 by 11 size transfer. You get an accessory every month. This month it is a chocolate shape. And you get three coordinating paste packets. So for this month of October, you're going to get this transfer. You're going to get this pumpkin. And the colors this month are, I'm going to say pomegranate, currant jam, papaya, and pesto. So those are the three singles that you're going to get with this, okay? Now, one other thing is you get, if you are a club member, you get flat rate shipping on your first order of the month, which is $5.99. You get your transfer monthly, you get your three case packets, you get your coordinating embellishment shipped right to your front door. You get your anniversary squeegee of the year. A couple of new things they just came out with with our club members. You can gift your monthly subscription to a friend or family member if you want to skip a month for yourself. How awesome is that? Um, and then they have exclusive promotions throughout the year for our club members, okay? Again, if you are in the States, you can be billed monthly at $21.99. You can prepay for four months at $77.96 and save $10.00 or you can pay for a year in advance, especially if you want to give it to somebody as a gift, for $219.90. My Canadian friends, the monthly bill is $27.99, $98.96 for four months, and $279.90 for a year subscription. Super cool, right? All right, let's start today's project. So, we are going to use the club transfer again. We've already done a black and white project. I'm going to use the drop-in frame, okay? I'm going to tell you what I did with it. Now, I did post a cart link. Please know, there's a lot of paste colors in today's project. You definitely do not have to use them all. You can do black and white, y'all. Um, but these are just some colors that I'm going to use. You can uh, use one color, three colors, ten colors. We're kind of going to like do a little integrating of colors to come up with our own colors. So don't feel that you have to purchase all the colors. Remember, those cart links are created and you can add to them or you can delete from the cart to make it your own, okay? Um, 
I posted the colors that I'm going to be using. I might not even use them all, who knows. But once you see the finished project, you can kind of gear your colors to the pumpkin that you want to make, okay? All right, this is what our frame looks like, bright white. It is a double-sided drop-in, okay? You get three of these refills, so technically you can make six projects. Super easy, vertical or horizontal, okay? Today, what I did was, I just took a hand sander, just a block, and I kind of dirtied it up a little bit. So can you see the difference? Let me show you the difference. So, I'm not sure if I can get it all in. And I'm actually going to put a little bit of distressing ink on it too, okay? Alright, so you can use it as bright white, you can distress it like I did. Because we're doing that county fair theme, I kind of thought distressing it would be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and finish it. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to add some distressing ink to it to kind of make it look a little aged, okay? And all these other products I'm using will be, um, I will have all the links posted over in my VIP lounge, okay? All right, so I'm just going to kind of like go around this and dirty it up, vintage it up, whatever you want to call it, okay? And because I sanded it down a little, you can see that it's really taking hold of this thing. transfer today. So the only thing I'm interested in doing right now is the pumpkin. And because I just want to be able to use the lines as a guide, I'm going to use a very light 
um, paste color, you can use dune, you can use gray, um, anything light, and it's just going to help me, and you'll see what I mean, kind of like guide me with the lines. And I'm not going to get this little ribbon. Again, I'm just concentrating on the pumpkin right now, okay? So did you like those Highland cows? How cool that you can just interchange, right? Again, this is going to be very faint. I'm just doing this so I can use the lungs as a guide. I'm going to scrape up all that excess. And I'm going to pull up. This is very pretty, just this color, but we're going to continue. All right. Pretty? This pumpkin has so much detail, y'all. All right, the one thing I do want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to wash this pumpkin because we're going to use it again. It's really pretty, isn't it? So I use grays, Jerry. Yes, they are dead. These are the inserts that come with the drop-in frame. And I'm just gonna quickly wash this, let it dry, because we are gonna use it again. Yeah, these drop and frames are really cool. Um, I think they look, I, we just had a baby shower a couple weeks ago and I was able to use them. Um, I put um, like an itinerary, I did the menus on them. And what was good about it was because I used a, a large kitchen island, I was able to use the same sign on the front and back so it didn't matter which side of the island you were on. So they do come in handy for lots of, um, lots of projects, and they're just really cute, too. Thank you, Glenn. Alright, so we're just going to dry this because we are going to use it again. I'm 
really kind of touching the stem, but not on it. So this, I'm just going to do the words county fair. Let me get all those rifles out. And we are going to do this in our black, black paste. And then we're going to use the transfer a third time too. Okay. So just the top. So I'm not going to paste in that bottom line. Now, this is my third project using this month's transfer, and I have yet to use the pumpkin cutout yet. I'm saving that. house and yeah 
Yeah, we've been here since um, the end of March. Yeah. Everything is in its place. There's no boxes to be unpacked. I just gotta get my kids from not coming over all the time. Okay, so this too, I'm kind of filling in more than needs to be, but that's just me, you don't need to do that. This is just therapeutic for me to do this. Again, I'm using bar. So like I said, the card length that I posted, there are so many paste colors. So I know most of my customers have mostly all these paste colors already, um, but don't feel that you need them all, okay? You can do this pumpkin all in the same color if you want. So we just kind of fill this in. I'm going to dry it. I think that's good. Yeah, yeah we're took forever because of FEMA, so it was a 27 month process, which was crazy, it was supposed to be 10 to 12 months, so that, that was very hard to deal with. love the saffron that we have. I wasn't too sure about it until I got it. And it really is a beautiful, beautiful color. You can throw white in too if you want. Right, I'm kind of going to use a sponge brush. Now, you can take one of our um, board erases and cut that out if you want. Um, but I'm just going to use a little sponge guy here. And the same thing, I'm kind of going to add some water, and that's just going to make it easier to paste. Hi, Deb. Welcome. Hey, Courtney. All right. 
So I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go light to dark, okay? And I definitely want to get gold in there, and I may do some rubber buff too, guys. Again, I'm not even in the lines with this. You, it, nothing has to be perfect, okay? Anything that is dark, you'll see. Anything dark shading, can you see that? Is going to be black anyways. So, you know, the messier the better. <laughs> But this is how easy this is. You can leave some open spaces if you want some white to um, come through. It'll, it'll look like a little highlight. Super easy. You know, you can even throw some glitter on this if you want. And then I'm going to show you how to, we're going to cut a little sponge and we can get these little bottoms too if you want to get right to the edge. Just a little bit of white, and 
they'll kind of look a little highlighty. And I know you're probably saying that doesn't look like anything. We're going to put the transfer back down again. Just going to line it up where it was as close as you can. Do not worry if it's not perfect. You want to get all those wrinkles out of there. Okay, so again, I'm not going to paste over this ribbon. Okay. I'm going to use black. right over the stem and the leaves again too. Now 
Now, once I pull up, if you indeed wanted to add glitter, this is when you would do it. And because we used, or I used that hot harness, the hottest shimmer, I'll say that fast three times. Um, guys, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a little sparkle in there. Can you see it? I'll try and get a better picture of it. But there's already like a little bit of a shimmer in there. Shine it up just a little bit more. This is copper, might be copper or gold? Gold. Am I? Antique gold. Cut it down. 
without really cutting it. Just use some pieces. I'm going to drop this in. And then I'm going to show you one more thing. What do you think? Do you like it? Show me some hearts if you like it. You did. I knew you did already. Okay. Do you like it? Now, you can add your ribbon to it. You can add moss. We're going to do a project with moss. Um, but, are you going to a county fair? Are you going to a state fair? Are you going to any fair this fall? Because you know what you can do to the flip side is you can take your tickets to the back. What a cute idea. Right? So if you don't know what to do with the back and you don't want to use, if you don't want to duplicate the project, just go ahead and take your tickets to the back. Thanks, Jerry. Alright, so this is today's project. Like I said, the cart link is full, you all. Pick and choose your own colors. I specifically really wanted to get this drop-in frame on that cot link for you. Um, there weren't, I think there was only one color that had the single, which was the black, which most of you have jars anyways. Um, but again, you don't have to use any of these colors. The one color that I think would look gorgeous, and we don't have it yet, I'm getting mine, um, is our new nominee gold. So this new color of the month is a metallic flat paste. Again, the cart link that I designed is way over the amount needed for you to uh, qualify to get this paste of the month. Also remember that the paste of the month sells out. It's not inten intended to last the entire month. It will not last the entire month. They have not lasted since we've been doing paste of the month. So if you love this color, which I love, go ahead and order it now. Um, we'll be doing a lot of fall projects with Nominee. That's the name of the paste. So I think that color would look beautiful as part of this as well. Um, and like I said, you don't need all the colors, okay? Did we use all the colors? We did use all the colors, but you don't have to. Um, so we have that, and as a reminder, once I get the magnets on, I really didn't plan on showing you this ahead of time, but once I get all the magnets on, um, I will redo this for you. But here is our Christmas hide and cow. And this I'll, will be posted tomorrow, okay? So there's that, and everything's held on by magnets. So that's the Christmas. This is the Thanksgiving one. Oh, when did it stop? So, Barbie, didn't 
Barbie was the first one, right? So this is the fourth, I think this is the fourth month. Three, four, fourth or fifth month. This is the fourth month. Fifth month. I'll have to check. Fourth or fifth. Barbie. Dream Barbie was the first one, though. Everything's fine. All right. Love to all. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. If you have any questions, just um, message me, okay? If um, you... I'll be posting all the links for the items that I used over in the VIP lounge. Patty chat tomorrow over in the VIP lounge. So if you're not a member of the VIP lounge and you would like to be, just put VIP in the comments and I will send you the link, okay? It's open to customers and my team members. All right? Love to all. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.